Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have something special for you. We're going to review the Carpool Ride W903, a game changing car media system. So let's dive right in. It's one of a kind to feature a rotable camera and dive cam function. This device offers a 9.3 inch IPS display with great viewing angles and supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Car. It also has video casting compatibilities directly from your iPhone or Android device. For iPhone users, it supports wireless CarPlay, allowing you to access your phone's apps, messages, music on the W903's display. For Android users, it offers wireless Android CarPlay, providing similar functionalities as CarPlay. So let's go ahead and unbox this beauty. As soon as we open the box, we are greeted by a slick, long 9.3 display of the W903. It includes a AUX cable, a suction cup mount, a power supply cable, and a solid mount. Installation is a breeze. You just need a working stereo with either FM, an AUX input, or Bluetooth to cast your audio from the display to your car's stereo speakers. Using the supplied 12 volt adapter, you give the display power and within 10 seconds maximum after ignition, the display will be fully loaded up. So here we have the bad boy. It's gonna be the 9.3 inch Carpelrite multimedia device. Uh, if you look at the side panel, you can see that it has a USB-C power input. It has an AV1. It has an SD card, which is already, uh, there's already a card in it. And as lastly, it also has an AUX input. That being said, uh, what comes with it is the power cable, the USB power cable. Uh, fun fact is that it also comes with a USB input, so you can still charge your phone while the Android car or the Apple CarPlay device is still on. So that's pretty awesome. It comes with this bracket and with this mount right here. It's also already on the mount. And lastly, it comes with the AUX cable, which fell on the ground. Let me go and get it. It's gonna be this right here. So let's start this bad boy up right away and see how fast it actually boots up. Uh, I'm using the USB cable of my computer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven seconds fully booted up. So I really like that. Uh, that being said, the SD card is being greeted and it starts recording right away. Going into the camera, you can see that the image is very clear. It's recording all always you can change some settings uh in the settings i saw but the quality is pretty good i don't know how good it is depending on when i transfer this file these files to my computer i will actually see the format that being said it says right here 4k uh h265 it looks pretty decent so but i don't know exactly uh how that will be formatted on the, on the pc that being said you have some options here this is your home screen of of the brand itself um, you can set set up CarPlay, you can set up Android Auto, you can AirPlay or Android Cast. So you have all these options, but you can also do Wi-Fi video, so you can connect your phone to access the files in the camera. Uh, so you don't need to actually take out the SD card, put it in your computer. You can just transfer it through the Wi-Fi. Um, you have your sound, which is full. The brightness I've also put in full. I didn't turn off or turn on the auto adjust. Um, you have the audio input, which is pretty important. Right now it's on the speaker. So the speaker works as, as also for the music. You can play music on it. Then you can switch to Bluetooth audio, which will connect your stereo cars Bluetooth with this device. And from this device, the Bluetooth connected to your phone. So that's pretty awesome. It's called dual Bluetooth. Then we have the option where you can choose a radio station on this device and choose the same, same radio station on your uh, car stereo and it will connect to it. And that way it is wirelessly connected. And the last option is the AUX cable into the AUX input of your TV. That being said, for this short demonstration, we're gonna later on do this in the car. We'll just keep it on speaker, press the home button. Let's go ahead and connect this for the first time on a phone and we're gonna use the Apple CarPlay. So what it's telling us right here is to go to your Bluetooth, wait for it to show up. It showed up right now. So that's approximately five seconds. It's gonna ask me to pair. I'm gonna pair it. It's gonna ask me to allow sync uh, calls. I'm gonna allow that also. That being said, it is connected. What else is there left to do? Oh yeah, yeah, it will ask you to use CarPlay. 
So all together 20 seconds maybe, depending on how fast. I believe it's 20 seconds. So that's, uh, and that's for the first time. I feel like it will always connect automatically. What else is there left to do? So it opens up Google Maps. You can easily select the location on your phone and it will go there. It's just your average Apple CarPlay, how this works, it works great. What I'm really curious about is how does apps respond? Go ahead and see if it plays. So that works good. You have the speaker. If in any, any situation you can not, you don't have any option to actually use a uh, <laughs> method of these, then you can, you're still good using uh, this, the speaker of the cup, right? Go ahead and switch this up a bit. Maybe that's better for the reflection, but I don't think that helped. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and press the apps. Here you see all the apps. It is very responsive. How I click into an app, it goes right away in it. Uh, the refresh rate might be on the low, lower side, but the quality is very good. Hopefully this will improve also, uh, but it's very responsive. So let's go to settings and right away it's op it opens it up. So it is responsive. Uh, the quality is very good. I would say very good, very decent. That being said, I think it's all set up. Um, you can still go back to the home menu just by pressing here and here. It will be you will be taken back right here, and you can decide to connect your Android phone or the AirPlay. Fun fact: you can actually fully load this up, and you can watch Netflix, YouTube, movies by using either the AirPlay or the Android Cast mode. I've tested it, and it is very decent. Also, you won't get the full uh, screen, of course, but just a smaller side which is totally fine it is very practical but again you don't want to use this while driving of course but the fun thing about this is that you can always turn it around move it aside if you mount it in a way that that's actually portable that being said i believe uh, there's nothing left for us to say but to go ahead and hook this up on my car's stereo so we're in my volkswagen 2012 passat and i have set the apple carplay from copyright up as you can see, the wiring for now is set up like this, but I, what I really like is that the wiring is very long. So that being said, I can actually later on open these vents and put the wiring through there so you won't see anything, any cables at all. Let's go ahead and press the home button to check out the camera. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it is pretty nice. The quality is amazing. Let's turn that shit around. There we go. Hello, hello. So I'm liking this a lot. I'm going to keep this at the front, of course. Uh, getting back to the CarPlay. So you have your Apple CarPlay right here. Everything that's standard, it comes with it. Everything with an Apple CarPlay can do. You can do it with this device too. That's with dimension. You'll get the real deal for this price. Only thing you have to watch out is a bit for security. How are you going to do this when you leave the car? Are you going to unplug it? Because you can just uh, remove it from the mount and put it somewhere. Or are you just going to keep it as, as it is? I think you can determine that by where you park and where you live. That being said, just be careful, you know, it's, 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 you don't want this to get stolen and they break through your window and all that. You have to go get a police report, you lose your money, you lose the windshield or whatever. And uh, yeah, just be careful with that. I don't know how I'm gonna set it up yet because uh, there are a lot of thefts here in this neighborhood, but hey, that's my problem for now. Uh, that being said, in the next video, I will show you how you can watch live TV on this, how you can watch movies, how you can watch Netflix. We're gonna fully load up this device. That being said, do not do that while driving, only when you're parked and you're, you have a brake or whatever, uh, you're charging your vehicle, I don't know. Go ahead and watch this. Um, so the way I have connected this is pretty interesting. Let's go back to home and let's go to audio output. So currently we have Bluetooth set up. So what it does is our phone is connected to the car, car's Bluetooth, which, I, which has Bluetooth and I have a screen right here, but it doesn't have Apple CarPlay. So that will stay intact and how the apple carplay is connected is still through the phone directly through here but without sound the sound comes directly from the car to the phone that being said it works perfect the sound is on time everything is good it works fast uh, uh, reacts right away that being said i believe there is nothing left to do for us than to go ahead and check out the site and see how much we can buy this bad boy for so 
last thing to do is to check out how much this device costs and I've been testing it now for a week I am very satisfied with it I am surprised how good it's working actually so I'm gonna put this back in my vehicle and I'm gonna use it on a day-to-day -day regular base uh, there will be a link in the description go ahead and visit it it will redirect you to this website and we have a special discount for everyone because if you use the coupon link of my name Zeno you'll receive $50 discount so let's go ahead and check out the products they have which is uh, a lot actually and the one that we review today is going to be the w903 that's going to be this one it has the camera so yeah that's that's perfect uh for me it's good because i don't have a dash cam i don't have apple carplay um i don't have all these options right here so the device is 240 dollars i'm going to be honest with you to me this is the best one out there because i'm yeah, of course i've been testing it now for a week um uh, that being said this is the only device that i have tested um they're probably more in the market maybe they're cheaper maybe they're more expensive i don't know but to me this is already a very good one the only thing that i have tested before are these usb plug and play car plays but they only work on android based device uh which i had previously now not anymore so this is a all-in-one solution um that being said you add it to your cart and when it's in your basket all you have to do is apply the discount code zeno click on apply and there you have $50 discount, $189.99 total for this awesome device. It's all up to you. Uh, I enjoyed it and I hope you also enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Leave me some feedback. Thank you all for watching and don't forget, I'll see you in the next one.